Welcome sa SIP9.com uh, In this video, tutuloy natin ating series on ratio and proportion no? and uh, dito sa video na to magsasolve tayo ng unang problem natin on proportion uh, A 10 meter pole casts a shadow of 18, 18 meters How tall is a nearby tree with a shadow of 27 meters? So, dalawang quantities yung ano natin, no? yung kinukumpare natin dito, yung, yung uh, yung ating uh, o yung height no? ng pole, which is 10 meters tapos yung shadow may natin yung kulay para at least mag-distinguish natin so 10 meters We have 10 meters over 18 meters. So remember, yung nasa taas, yun yung ating uh, uh, height ng pole. At yung nasa baba, yun yung shadow. Kaya kulay green siya. So dapat yung pagkaka-arrange mo din dun sa... sa Dito sa susunod sa equivalent fraction niya, dapat same din. Yung nasa taas din yung shadow, no? Oh, sorry, sorry. Nasa taas din yung height, tapos nasa baba rin yung shadow. So, how tall is a nearby tree with a shadow of 27 meters? So, how tall? Ang anong natin is the height, no? Ibig sabihin ang anong natin yung nasa taas. Over 27. Okay? So, since tama na yung ating pagka-arrange, pwedeng isang kulay na lang. So, we have uh, 18n. Diba? Pag minultiply natin yung, yung uh, pag kinross multiply natin, no? they should be equal. No? 18n no? is equal to 10 times 27. So, ang pinaka-strategy dyan, mas maganda pag muna siyang i-multiply kasi baka uh, pwede ba tayo mag-cancel na mas makakatipid tayo ng time so dividing both sides by 18 18n over 18 is equal to 10 times 27 over 18 which means that n equals uh, 10 over 27 times 18 anong pwede natin i-cancel? of course you can multiply then this and then you can divide but uh, may mas madaling paraan dyan, no? Uh, Mag-cancel tayo. So, anong pwede natin i-cancel? Yung 18 tsaka 27, ano ang common, ano nila? Common factor. Diba 9? Greatest common factor. So, 18 divided by 9 is 2. And 27 divided by 9 is 3. No? Tapos, yung 2 tsaka 10 pwede rin. Anong common factor nila? 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Ibig sabihin, 5 times 3 is 15. Tapos ang matitira sa baba natin ay 1, which is equal to 15. Okay? Of course, pwede nyo i-divide. A times and i-divide. 270 divided by 18, you'll still get 15, no? So, 15 is the correct answer. Meaning, ang, ang nearby tree ay 15, 15 meters. Uh, 15 meter tall yung uh, ating uh, nearby tree, no? Okay, so pwede rin natin siyang i-solve no? ng uh, yung ratio yung color yung ating representation we have 10 10 is to 18 no? is to 18 tapos uh, this is equal to n is to 27 and sabi natin uh, from the previous video, dapat yung product nito, no? Tsaka yung product nito pareho. The product of the extremes, yung number sa labas, and the product of the means, no? Ay uh, equal siya dapat. Meaning, 18 times n, 18 times n, no? Uh, is equal to 27 times 10. No? Times 10. Which is pareho din naman dito, no? So, n equals 27 times 10 over 18. Pareho siya dito, di ba? 27 times 10 over 18. 
uh, B7N is also 15. No? So either either of the two, pwede, pwede natin siyang gawing solution. Uh, dito, by cross-multiplication, their product should be uh, equal. Kaya tayo nagkaroon nito. And th this, uh, in this representation, their extremes, the product of their extremes must be equal to the product of their means. Okay? Kaya nagkaroon din tayo ng uh, equation na to. Okay, that's it. Uh, sa susunod na video, mag-solve pa tayo ng uh, uh, more problems on proportion. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial. By the way, uh, invite ko kayo sa ating website sa sitnayan.com. No? And uh, of course, kung uh, gusto nyo mag-subscribe sa ating channel, sa sitnayan, sa YouTube, para mas uh, informed kayo no? pag meron tayong uh, bagong video, may inform kayo via email. Okay, so mag-login lang kayo sa Google account nyo and then click the subscribe button dito sa if you're watching this in YouTube, no? Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.